Hello and welcome to this introductory course on React Native. You probably use apps every day, and if you're taking this course, you likely know that some of those are built using React Native. Even if this is a completely new topic to you, don't worry. That's why you're here, right? You're here to learn to apply your coding skills to the world of mobile app development, and this course will help you get there. To help you better understand the applications for the concepts that you'll learn about, you'll explore this course from the perspective of a developer who has been tasked with creating a mobile app for a client. The client is Little Lemon, a Mediterranean restaurant that specializes in simple food and casual cocktails served in a casual environment. Let's find out what knowledge you'll gain to make this app happen. You will start off by learning about what React Native is, its benefits and use cases. You will then learn about the basic components in React Native, styling the components, and using them to build a React Native app. Next, you will move on to the core components of React Native, such as view, text, and scroll view. These primarily concern setting up the visual layout of your app. In the next module, you will learn about the rendering of large lists within your mobile app and inputting text via the keyboard. You will learn how to build large and performant lists with both flat list and section list components. And you will learn how to configure user inputs via keyboard using the text input component. The next module is about creating pressable components, rendering images, and using React Native hooks. This includes learning to build buttons and other pressable areas to add interactivity to your apps, as well as learning how to display and style images in an app. And you will become familiar with some common React Native hooks which can extend the functionality of your React components. In the module that follows, you will learn about navigating between screens using React Native navigation. You will learn different types of navigation, such as stack, tab, and drawer navigation, which are widely used in mobile apps. You will also become familiar with the core features of React navigation. And by the end of this module, you will be able to set up your app with React Navigation and move between screens. The final part of the course is about the graded assessment. For this assessment, you will create a Little Lemon newsletter sign-up form in React Native. And you'll get an opportunity to provide feedback on your classmates' projects as well, since this is a peer-reviewed assignment. There are many videos in the course that will gradually guide you towards your goal of becoming a developer. Watch, pause, rewind and rewatch the videos until you are confident in your skills. Then consolidate your knowledge by consulting the course readings and putting your skills into practice during the course exercises. Along the way, you'll encounter several knowledge quizzes where you can self-check your progress. And remember, you're not alone in considering a career as a mobile developer, which is why you'll also work with course discussion prompts that help you to connect with your classmates. It's a great way to share knowledge, discuss difficulties, and grow a network of contacts in the web development world. You have probably encountered a few new words and technical terms in this video. Don't worry if you don't fully understand all these terms right now. Everything will become clearer soon. After all, this is part of the reason why you are taking this course.